Hi there, I'm Mr. McGann and it's good to see you again. In part one of our video on trees, we're going to talk about a few features you might notice. One of the most obvious features of a tree is how tall it is. Some are only a few meters high, while others are over 60 meters tall. And what shape does the tree have? Some are straight, some spread out widely, and some are all tangled up. What shape are the leaves of the tree? Are they big or little? And are they long or wide? Are the edges smooth or do they have little teeth on them? Trees that keep their leaves all year long, like the Douglas fir, are called evergreen. By the way, I've noticed that on many evergreen trees, the new growth is a much brighter green and it feels very soft. Maple trees and fruit trees, like the apple tree, lose their leaves every year. The word for that kind of tree is deciduous. Here's a funny note. Your baby teeth are also known as deciduous teeth because they fall out. Here are two other interesting things about trees. You can see on this maple tree that it has a lot of bumps on its trunk. These are called burls. Why do you think that happens? Well, it turns out that sometimes trees get sick just like people do. Insects or bacteria can get into their bark. To protect themselves, trees seal that area off and make an extra layer that is kind of like a scab that you get on a scrape. Doing this helps the tree get healthy again. And have you noticed how the trunks of some trees shift directions for no obvious reason? The trunk of one of these has a big shift to the left. Why did it do that? And the trunk of the other split into two sections. In what way did that help the tree? How many different trees can you find in your neighborhood? Have fun exploring. Bye for now.